Hi everyone and welcome back to John Florio channel. Uh, in the last days I have shared um, in the Shakespeare Explained videos um, how Shakespeare um, borrow from uh, Italian writers like Cinzio e Catulmiti, like Ariosto, Orlando Furioso, and how sometimes he literally uh, borrow and translate some lines uh, from the Italian to English. Uh, for this reason, I would like to talk about John Florio and his first work, First Fruits. Um, first Fruits was published in 1578 when John Florio was 25 years old, so he was quite young. And it's very important work, why? Both for English language and for theatre. John Florio had this dream, this idea to change and improve English language in an era in which English language was at the earliest stage of its career. Uh, so he wanted to change that and he, we know that he will change English language with, with his dictionaries, with his translations and with many words that he added to English language. So First Fruits had this double aim, first to change improve English language and at the same time he had his first connection with theatre. Um, why with theatre? Why First Fruits had connection with theatre? Because um, this work contains dedications written by the whole company of the Lacers men, the company of Robert Dudley, who was Florio's patron at the time. We have beautiful um, dedications written by Richard Parton, who was the greatest actor of, of his time. He prized Florio as his friend, um, as someone who helped the actors. So certainly Florio had a great role in those years in shaping English theatre with Italianate uh, topics and contents. But uh, in the videos, of Shakespeare explain, I show how Shakespeare borrow sometimes literally uh, lines, words from the Italian writers, translate them in English. This is also what Florio did in his first work, 1578, so more than 10 years before Shakespeare. Um, let's make some examples. This is a chapter, chapter um, 26, of First Fruits, in which Florio borrows from Ludovico Ariosto and his Orlando Furioso, and he borrows different topics from Orlando Furioso. Topics about anger, topics about friendship, topics about love, and he borrows these um, dialogues, these lines, and he translates them, but how Florio translated, that is the a heart of Florio's talent. He didn't translate literally. Florio translated giving uh, the words a rhyme, a rhythm, a sound. This is why he was defined a musical lexicographer. This is also why he had way more talent in writing English than in Italian. When Florio wrote in Italian, he just wrote basic Italian. When he wrote in English, he just showed all his genius and talent. So let's see how he translated Orlando Furioso and Ludovico Ariosto in First Fruits. For example, this is a topic about anger. When Rizzo by rage and anger is suffered, vanquished to be is not defended, and a blind fury ruleth the eye of man. O hand, O tongue, the friends have offended, although that afterwards he weep and sigh, yeah, for all these, the fault is not amended. So as you can see, he tried to give a rhyme, a rhythm. It's not a literary translation, it's poetical translation. It has sounds, it has a rhythm, it's beautiful translation. So this is why you have to keep in mind the Florio uh, first was not a math teacher. And he writes it, he writes in First Fruits. In, in the letter to the reader, the, the first uh, page of First Fruits, he writes, I'm sorry, I'm not a teacher, so please don't criticize me because I'm not good at teaching. He writes it. He was forced to become a teacher because he was perceived as a foreign, 
as a stranger, this is how they call them, uh, in uh, early modern London. And strangers had two options. They either became teacher or they became translators. So they didn't have much choice. Uh, so Florio begins his career as a teacher, but he has different passions. He has different aims in his life because he has culture, he has knowledge, he's an erudite author who um, knows a lot about Italian poetry, Italian literature, and he wants to share this passion that he has, his knowledge, through his works. This is why Florio was not a mad teacher. And we see in just Ryan first fruits in his first work that we are dealing with essentially a poet. A genius, a poet, that he's sharing all his knowledge of Italian poetry and Italian literature in English. Another beautiful uh, lines that he shares about love. That which men see, love make invisible, and the invisible love causes to be seen. Another topic, jealousy. Florio uh, writes a lot about jealousy in his works. And here he borrows the topic of jealousy from Ariosto. And again, he translates. And let's see how he translates. What sweeter state, what bliss more jocund can be than for to have an amorous heart? What life more happy, what life can be more blessed than to be found in servitude to love, if man were not continually pricked and egged of the suspect, of the fond of fear of his, of the tormenting, of the foolish frenzy, of the fond range that jealousy is name? You see here the sound, the rhythm, the euphuism. In, in the word, the fond fear of his, the foolish frenzy. As you can see, we have a poet who is uh, sharing all this knowledge of Italian literature, Italian poetry, through English. These were just some examples that I wanted to show you about uh, some chapters of First Fruits that John Florio wrote at 25 years old, his first work, that already shows his great talent as writer, as a poet, and as a man who was already collaborating with the Laces company. I'll share more of these uh, examples in the future. Let me know in the comments if you want to know um, other examples, if you want to know other chapters, or just if you have questions or suggestions. So, stay resolute. Bye.